Welcome to Living Fuel TV. This is Casey Krejci. So your cholesterol was high, so your doctor gave you a statin drug. And you've been taking it for how long? This is a disturbing situation that I've come up on many times recently. People that I'm in, uh, communicating with, they'll talk to me about their cholesterol levels and that they're on statin drugs to bring their cholesterol down. And then they slip into pre-diabetes, which you're hearing a lot about these days, that you know one in three or one in four people are pre-diabetic. And if you think about the number of people on cholesterol lowering drugs, now we're, we have to start looking for the connections here. What is going on? Well, statin drugs block the conversion of sugar in the bloodstream to cholesterol. So it, it blocks that conversion and puts it back as sugar into the bloodstream. So what you have is almost invariably people on statin drugs are going to have elevated blood sugar. Over time it creeps up and the doctor then says, a different doctor potentially says, hey, let's put you now on a a blood, a blood sugar modulating drug so that we can bring your sugar down because you're getting in the area of pre-diabetes. So then you get stack one drug on top of another because of a side effect and so on. Now statin drugs I mean, they, they can have their purpose, but you know, bringing cholesterol down really is easy. I mean, you really have to want to take a drug to not want to try the natural way to bring your cholesterol down. Literally, if you increase your fiber significantly and your vegetables and drop your sugar intake and your, and your, your grain intake, your cholesterol normally will drop like a rock. Now, there are people that have cholesterol issues that are hereditary, but those don't even generally come down on cholesterol medication. But the things that's disturbing the most right now is I know people who've been on these cholesterol lowering medications to where their total cholesterol now is 125 or 150 total cholesterol, HDL and LDL. Now the statins are designed to bring your cholesterol down. So when you're down to these ranges now, the literature shows that if your cholesterol levels are below 200 and then get even as that goes down your chances of your your ill health and mortality from any reason goes up in fact the 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 issue of suicide goes up the lower the cholesterol level goes under 200 there are a lot of issues your cholesterol is very important you talk about good cholesterol and bad cholesterol the truth is it's neither good or bad you have to have both of them and ideally they both would be at 100 100 HDL 100 LDL the cholesterol is not the problem it's the oxidation of, of excess cholesterol that's the problem. So if you are on a statin drug and your cholesterol level is below 200 and your doctor is telling you to keep taking it because you want to keep it managing it, you probably need to consider another doctor. So I, there are so many natural approaches to op optimizing cholesterol levels and they, don't, they won't work necessarily for everyone but again cholesterol really in and of itself is not a problem. Now if you can have high antioxidants you can minimize cholesterol oxidation and there's a lot of things along those lines. I just wanted you to think today. Think about the drugs that you are taking. It is, in my case, I, I recently did a health test to see how things are going, like I do periodically. And the, 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 when you fill out the, the form, it says, what drugs are you on? Not, are you on any drugs? Guys, let's get serious. The average person over 60 years old in the United States is on six drugs. Six drugs. We know clinically that once you get beyond five drugs, it's impossible to predict the clinical outcomes. So rethink the, think this drug approach to health. There's a lot of ways to get there naturally, and we want to help you through that. So if we can answer any questions for you, send us some messages through blog or email or however you can get to us, Facebook, and we'll be happy to try to help you out. God bless you, and have a great day.